So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Over Healing Guidance and Tarot. If that was really loud, apologies, because I literally just got finished listening to some gospel. You know, I was over here like, how excellent is spirit? You get what I'm saying? And I don't know about y'all, if y'all listen to gospel or not, but that is my favorite gospel track, okay? How excellent is spirit? Like, seriously, for real. You get what I'm saying? Not joking, but for real, y'all. We say this all the time, right? But for real, sincerely how excellent right so if that was loud excuse me but i am just like over here praising right now you get what i'm saying very very grateful for all of the support all of the love that is coming through because it was literally specifically prayed for i feel like you know anytime i pray for that specific thing um the people who i need to cross paths with i always cross paths with so if you're here Thank you. That means that, you know, it's something huge about to take place in your life. It's something big going on. And, you know, <clears throat> we're all in this collective energy together. So I'm here for it. All right. Now I'm here to do a divine feminine reading. Okay. Don't even know if I said that because I just got straight into praising. I feel like that was first and foremost. You get what I'm saying? But this is for divine feminines. So keep in mind, guys, that it's general. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. You are more than welcome to comment if you would like, honey, whether it resonates with you or not. Now, don't feel no type of way if I don't reply, though. You get what I'm saying? Because some of the comments, you guys, are just a little bit much sometimes. And you have to use your discernment and know what to give your energy to and what to not give your energy to. And that's my advice to you all today as well. Okay, so... If you don't get a reply from me, it is a reason. You get what I'm saying? Maybe it's something you said. It's the way you said it. It's something. You get what I'm saying? But we're grown. I, I shouldn't have to explain to a grown person how to approach or, you know, say something to another grown person. I'm not a robot. You get what I'm saying? I'm an actual person and I don't I do not do the bullying thing because um, I be done bullied the bully. You get what I'm saying? I don't do well with the bullying thing. All right. <laughs> I'm just telling you now. But let us go ahead and get into the divine feminine reading. See what the messages are. All right. We're going to start off with the situation. Now, please use your discernment, guys. You will know if somebody is your divine masculine or not. Now, I'm not saying that crazy situations can't occur in the twin flame dynamic or relationship because it most certainly can it's a relationship just like any other one you get what i'm saying so there's going to be ups there's going to be downs there's going to be uh misunderstandings you know might be some hot times but the thing that i've noticed about true twins this is what never never is different all that explosive disrespectful like type of stuff i i have yet to come across any true twin flames who have gotten into union, who have had that type of stuff happen. I'm not talking about like arguments and this and that, because that's going to happen, right? I'm not talking about like disagreements with your family and this and that. That's going to happen. I'm not talking about family quarrels and just regular stuff. I'm talking about some of the things that, you know, people be, come on now. Like, all right, use your discernment. So let us see <laughs> what the messages are here. I feel like that's really important to say because I'm really here for the healing. And I always tell you guys, it is not just for entertainment purposes here. Yes, the readings on YouTube are posted. You're gonna watch them. It's something that you do as a form of entertainment on your end. But what I'm doing it for, my purpose, my intention is to help. It is not just to entertain you. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not a performer. So <laughs> let us see what we have here. All right, we have ascension. All right, so leveling up loving this so you're leveling up you're getting closer to spirit this is what it's all about i just replied to a divine feminine's comment um on the video about the psychic reading that your masculine got on you if you haven't seen it go check it out it was very descriptive on what the reader was telling them you get what i'm saying um so if you want to go and see what this reading was all about go and check that out i'm going to pin that reading here in this video okay but i just responded and said yes emphasis like heavy on the get close to god you get what i'm saying the twin flame journey like this is what i always say the quickest way to come into union with your counterpart is to get as close to god as possible you want to come into union with them get close to god because god is a miracle worker it's like seriously people are like oh well you know i don't believe in god then are you a twin flame because the divine twin flame situation is very godly you get what i'm saying it's very uh 
heavenly that when we say kingdom spouse we're referring to that kingdom you get what i'm saying that's what we're talking about so i don't understand how people say they don't believe in god and you get what i'm saying also like you know at the same time hold on one second y'all yeah so there's street cleaning and i'm just you know i can't control that once again but because it was right behind us i had to pause but like i was saying you know i think that's an omen too we can go ahead and clean that way of thinking up you get what i'm saying if we think that god is not in it that's the problem if we think this is not a godly thing that's the problem this is why i say the things that i say where i'm like you know twins have been yearning to be together for over two hundred and forty thousand plus years you get what i'm saying because time is an illusion look years right and so it's like you know, it's a very spiritual thing, you know, it's and that's why I say, yes, it's a magnetic pull. I can't get the words out because spirit is like giving me so many messages all at once. So bear with me, y'all. Yes, it's a magnetic thing. Yes, you guys cannot stay away from each other, which is why sometimes it might be hard to control your flesh with that person. But it's not about that. And I always tell you guys that, right? So, yes, yeah, sometimes it's going to get naughty and this and that. And, you know, because we grown and grown folk do grown folk things. But if that's all it is and you know you have a lust-based relationship with someone, you cannot call that a twin flame. Okay? So, I just... Now, let's keep it pushing. I be quiet. We have realization all right so it has come to their awareness that they love you they are in love with you unconditionally it doesn't matter who doesn't doesn't matter where doesn't matter when <laughs> i will be there for you till the very end where's that from i'm not even going to tell y'all but yeah okay so that's how they feel <laughs> yo i be showing my age omg but anyways so yeah <laughs> Because I am not ashamed of my age, okay? So, yeah, that's what I feel. Now that they know that they unconditionally love you, they're going to be hunting you down, okay? It is what it is. If you do not like to have a good time, I'm probably not going to be the reader for you. We have lockdown, okay? So, yeah, this is, like, all they think about, how much they love you, how they can't stay away from you, how you had this awakening and, you know, you just went for it. They, the way that your masculine views you, oh, my God, you have to understand they think so highly of you, like their mind is blown. I literally just had to touch my forehead. Oh, shoot. That's funny. Look, he's touching his forehead. I just noticed. I look down and that's exactly what he's doing. Um, but they are mind blown when they think about you. Mind blown. Because you continue to show them different layers of you. And they're like, wow. Remember the other day when I mentioned uh, the onion and somebody was like, oh, the twin flame journey is now like an onion. I was, I was, it was funny because I wasn't saying that. But when you think about it, facts, sis, facts, because there's always layers to it, right? It's like you think you know something about that person. And then here you are 35 years in and they tell you something new. And you're like, wait a minute. What? Your auntie did what? You know, like just different things like that. You're like, damn, I thought I knew everything about this person, you know, or at least the basics. Nah, it's always something else. You get what I'm saying? That's what's so amazing about it because you guys take your time, right? So that's, oh man, y'all, something so special about taking your time and not rushing and just, uh, first of all, a man that respects that. You get what I'm saying? And is not going to, um make you uncomfortable you get what i'm saying that just it says a lot about him that's the type of man that you want as a leader of your household you get what i'm saying somebody that uh has discipline right and now we have trash so this person is worried i'm going to hurry up and then i'm going to pause it again because uh street cleaning but this person is worried that now that they've come to this realization it's too late now you're going to want to discard them now you're going to want to throw away you know the relationship as far as twin flames go and go in a different direction so they're coming after you bounty hunter all right chaser hot pursuit coming after you we have twin flames yes yeah, so if you're wondering and you're like but i haven't heard from them and they haven't said nothing and because this and because that that means it's not my twin no excuse me that's not what it means and listen to me I understand that some people are not able to afford $111 for 30 minutes. I get that. That has been my prices for a nice little minute now, you guys, okay? As per client's suggestion, because they told me that I was worth more than I was charging back in the days. So there are times, though, that I do offer mini readings. You get what I'm saying? Um, and when I do the mini readings, if you want to get a personal just to see how real it can get up close and personal, you are more than welcome to do that. You know what I mean? Like, I am not against being here for y'all. I open myself up for counsel. I'm here for you. I promise. Okay? That's that's what I told God I'm doing. I'm making myself available, and I meant it. So, 
this is your twin don't think that it's not because you haven't heard from him no like i said the twin flame situation is something that you know it's not going to be rushed it's not supposed to be rushed in any event that it does get rushed well it's going to be a pause a big long pause all right so hold on one second y'all look what's here the, the street cleaner that went by look on the table offer proposal commitment so this person this is what i'm saying this is what is headed for y'all all right, y'all think just because it's no, it's no uh, talk, it's no this, it's no that. Then I go to shuffle, and now this is on the bottom. Come on, come on out, come on out. Get what I'm saying? Let us see what the messages are here <clears throat> from your divine counterpart. Hmm. They feel like you think they don't love you, but they feel like they love you too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> never too much never too much that's my response <laughs> that's my response you heard me like hmm <laughs> doom 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 what the hell you talk about never too much never too much <laughs> look no matter who i am with my thoughts always lead me back to you oh uh-uh stop falling we have, I am working on myself so I can come back. Please wait for me. See what I'm saying? The, you have ascended. You have leveled up. They're mind blown. And the reading that I did last, I said, they're looking at it like, you guys are such good people in real life that it makes them, now that they have got it confirmed that you're their divine feminine, it makes them feel like, okay, I have to become a better person because if that is me and I am them, I can't be out here representing them like this. You get what I'm saying? That's how they look at it. They look at themselves as a representation of you and you as a representation of them. Y'all as a representation of God and God's love. So they're like, because God's love is unconditional, I love feminine in an unconditional way. She loves me in an unconditional way. Our love is a representation of how God loves. So I have to get myself right. I have to get myself together as a representative of God. You understand what I'm saying? It's that type of thing. I'm just saying. All right. So <clears throat> we have, I hope the future will bring us together. All right. Because like I said, now that they've had this realization, something has come to the light. What's come to the light? You're their feminine. You say, oh, well, they should have known. They should have known. They should have known. Let's take a moment to just step outside of the spiritual box and step into real, real time for just a few moments, if you don't mind, please. Step out of the box of spirituality with me for just a second. You get what I'm saying now? We know spirituality is far from a box, honey, but just use your imagination. Rock with me. Step out of the room of spirituality. Come on, come on, come on. Step out, step out of the world of spirituality. There you go. Step out of it with me, okay? Let me show you something. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. When you send a man to the grocery store, now, it's not all men. It's just a, a simple example now. Don't you got to break it down? Okay. When you send a, a, send a, okay, all right. So what makes you think, you know what I'm saying? It's come on now it don't matter if it was your brother your uncle your boyfriend you got to give these people details y'all know that why well, y'all acting like y'all don't know that men are logical we are emotional <laughs> you get what i'm saying so no it has to make logical sense to them i wouldn't want my masculine to be thinking the way that i'm thinking or feeling the way I, that, that's crazy you get what i'm saying we you have to think and move different in order to make it work properly you get what i'm saying like if you think exactly the same you might as well be with yourself and i like that is myself no i think we have to look deeper and really understand what it is that i'm saying here and not like miss the messages that spirit is dropping because i promise you it's not coming directly from me so we have karmic connection okay moving from the patterns this person is getting outside of karmic relationship you get what i'm saying really trying to first of all i feel like it's more than one karmic relationship that some of these people are in because they're like technically single <clears throat> um these people are technically single they're not allowing themselves to be tied down weighed down this that and the other by they're not, mm -mm. you get what I'm saying? It says, I still love you and I can't stop thinking about you. They love you so much, you know, that they're willing to pause on all that. You get what I'm saying? Get themselves together. Let people know, like, listen, I'm sorry. I no longer resonate with you in that way. And it doesn't have to be that harsh, but for some of them, maybe, because I feel like the masculines that I'm picking up on are very direct. They're not going to have a problem with telling everybody, like, listen, I'm sorry. 
I'm good. Thank you for, you know, it was a good run. You get what I'm saying? Or whatever the case may be. And they don't have to say it that harsh, but still, like, let's just keep it pushing. You know, it is what it is. It says I'm not the same person, right? So they've evolved. The people around them, they can't continue to be around them. They're not the same person anymore. All right. It says the thought of you drives me crazy. Yeah, they think of you. You get what I'm saying? A lot, nonstop, all day, all night, all the time, while they sleep, while they up. <laughs> so it's just like, come on. It says, don't forget about me. I haven't forgotten about you. Okay. It says, I haven't forgot about you, but I, I like to say I haven't forgotten. <laughs> Haven't forgotten about you. All right. So we have twin flames. All right. So the one mirrored souls in play. Oh, we got something that stood behind from another day. Still listening. So this, if you guys have ever sent this person music or, you know, if you guys have a song or anything like that, a special song, maybe music that you listen to during a day or intimate times with each other, they're listening to these, these songs. They, they hold meaning to them. Okay, it makes them feel connected to you because music is a way to express yourself, you know, when you can't find the words. Which, speaking of that, Just Can't Find the Words is a beautiful song, right? Sometimes when you just can't find the words because somebody got you losing yourself and what you're trying to say, you know, and you get so excited and you can't help but feeling that way. <laughs> and every time you with them, it's like your heart you know gets weak it's like you losing yourself and it makes it hard to speak you just can't find the words <laughs> didn't i do it like that before yo i got to go but it says i listen to the music you've shared with me it helps me to connect with you although we are apart see what i'm saying oh says i'm trying to be someone you can trust and something is sticking his head out i'm lost i don't know what to do they do know what to do but here's the thing <clears throat> remember when i was telling you guys that the ones who are dealing with karmic partner, like like there's a live-in type of situation going on or something, they really feel stuck. And y'all have to understand, like, okay, here's the thing, right? Like, this is why I say use your discernment because I don't want you guys to be out here messing with people who are in relationships and have families and homes and everything's good over there and they got upset with shorty one night and, and now you just think that's your masculine. Like, please use your discernment. You get what I'm saying? But... Some people are just in situations, like, depending on their age of ages, of course, or just the. I mean, look at what the fuck is going on with the economy, y'all. Some people just are in codependent situations. It's not necessarily relationships; like they together because of living or whatever. You get what I'm saying? Living arrangements. You gotta live. <laughs> That's how they looking at it. You know. So at this point, some of them are like, "I'm lost. I really don't know what to do." They're afraid of hurting you. You get what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> maybe they've hurt the person that they're with. You know what I tell y'all, my opinion is if a person is like cheating and doing this and doing that, 10 out of 10 times it's because they're not 1000% satisfied where they are. If they were, why would you do that? You would not at all want to risk the chance of losing the person that you say that you love. That's how I feel about it. You get what I'm saying? So in their mind, if they still have those things they need to work on, because like I said, they're dealing with multiple people. This is why a lot of them will not get in a relationship with you. I'm not going to get in a relationship with somebody I think so highly of and I'm not prepared. Then I'm going to be doing shit that I know I should not be doing because I have lack of self-control at this moment in my life. And now I'm potentially uh, destroying the connection, the relationship that I could have been building with you. As opposed to just staying over here, you might be mad at me right now, but I'm becoming better in the meantime. And then when I'm better, I come to you and give you the best of me that I could have possibly given you. And you're over the moon. You get what I'm saying? So that's where this person is coming from. That's their logic. And I feel like women be, especially nowadays, it's like now, 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 do it right now. It's like the popcorn era. Everybody wants everything so quick. Wait a minute. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> So it says, I am learning a spiritual lesson. All I'm thinking about right now is how attracted to you I am. I never experienced this intense connection before. This person is utterly in love, period. You get what I'm saying? And it's not about do they care for you or not. It's not about, you know, any of that. It's really just about them not feeling like they are the, their best and they want to give you the best. It's just that simple. All right, so... All right, let's get into the tarot. 
All right, thank you, spirits. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if it res Ooh, if it resonates with you. All right, somebody is like trying to rush something here. I see. Like I said, it's gonna happen when it happens. You know what I mean? Can't rush it. Just let everything happen on its own. I promise you, it'll be better that way. It'll feel so good when you finally get it. You know what I mean? Let us see. Now y'all can take that. However, y'all need to take that. So we have. <laughs> We got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> this person doesn't feel balanced right now. It says, I feel lost. You want someone who feels like, you know, I'm not in the best of spaces to come and reign all over you. And they feel like you're in a really good place right now. They feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, they feel like you're in a really good space right now. And they're like, I refuse to come over there and disturb anything that you have going on. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, we have the two of wands, we have the hierophant. So they have a decision to make. You know, they can go on a spiritual quest, which a lot of them are choosing to do with the hermit here. You know, going on a spiritual quest, getting closer to God, ascending, like I said in the very beginning of the reading. Because they know in order to get closer to you, they have to get closer to God. They can't just come to you any type of way. They can't do it. You get what I'm saying? They've been shut down time and time and time again. Whether you shut them down, whether spirit doesn't let their messages get through or their phone calls, whether you actually block them, whatever it is. Speaking of that, the phone fell. So, yep, that's what it is. Spirit is, is not um, about to allow that to go down. So this person is like, all right, I got to go into study mode. That's what the hermit is all about. You, you stay to yourself so that you can isolate, you know, separate what it is that you think, what it is that you feel from what everybody else thinks and feels. And you can study, you can get your knowledge up, you can get your awareness up, whether that be about yourself or any other topic that you choose to look into. You get what I'm saying? In this essence, yourself, yes. The twin flame thing, yes. Getting closer to God, learning as much about spirit, the most high, the divine as possible, yes. Okay, you get what I'm saying? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what they're doing. <clears throat> now with the eight of swords, I feel like this person not only thinks about you all the time, but you know, they're trapped, y'all. And what they feel like, is regret remorse excuse me of how they handled the situation they're like damn i wish i would have rec recognized these things sooner you get what i'm saying because they're like if i would have recognized this sooner then i could have started what i'm doing right now a long time ago and then me and feminine could have proceeded together you get what i'm saying so this is where they're coming from they're like damn okay so now they feel stuck they feel caught up and it's something that they really don't want to admit or don't want to believe is that for some of you, not all of you, they really put you in competition with other people. Now, that may not have been their intention because here's the thing. You could be a single individual and when you're single, honey, you can do whatever you want. I genuinely believe that. I am not one of those females that feels like, oh, well, he was talking to me and he should have only been talking to me. I don't give a damn. If you're talking to me and you're talking to... 15 other people i don't care you get what i'm saying now if i choose to talk to 15 other people you shouldn't care either it is when we decide that you know what this is a relationship you didn't start telling each other you falling in love and all this extra shit once that happens and you're you're you know making it known in that way that's when you got to start getting rid of people you got to start cutting people the hell off at that point you get what i'm saying because now y'all making your way towards something else now, in that essence, if a person continues to be dibbling and dabbling with other people, then yes, now it's something that I care about. You get what I'm saying? Because that's disrespectful. I'm over here cutting motherfuckers off and you over here playing around. You get what I'm saying? That's disrespectful as hell. I feel like that's manipulation. You get what I'm saying? However, <clears throat> now, for, like, for some of you, you know, the person could have been, like I said, single, doing them. So what? But the way that you took it at the time could have been like, damn, you know, that's fucked up. Because maybe it was a misunderstanding. You thought you and them was, you know, exclusive. And they didn't think that. So there was a misunderstanding. You get what I'm saying? So that, that could be what I'm seeing here. And they're just regretful. They're regretful because they didn't see what was being offered to them. Now, it's not to say that you were literally saying, hey, here, here I am. Now it makes sense. This offer. They're like, God damn, I didn't realize what was in front of me, basically. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, we got the page of cups here, the five of swords. <clears throat> now this person wants to come in and apologize. Now they want to make things right. You get what I'm saying? And with the five of swords energy, this is where, you know, from this deck that I be using, 
the it's on card where it's like I see you looking good and moving on I don't care who you with I'm better I'll compete for you that card this is giving that energy right now I don't need the deck to give you the energy because that is what it's giving with the five of uh swords and the page of cups this person like I don't give it I will baby I will cry for you that's how they come in they said I will cry for you do not make me get on my damn knees. Like, they don't care. They said, oh, you're talking to somebody else? I'm going to show you why I love you more. I'm going to show you how much I love you more. You get what I'm saying? They ain't playing with y'all because they're in the upright position now. You get what I'm saying? Now that they know what they need to know, they like, oh, shit. You get what I'm saying? I mean, you don't do better until you know better, period. It doesn't matter if it's masculine, feminine, girl boy man woman dog cat you know what i'm saying you don't do better <clears throat> until you know better okay so yeah the masculine is in isolation pausing chilling minding his damn business you get what i'm saying in the man cave <laughs> Ooh, why did i just start hearing that under mm. Mm -mm -mm. We have the King of Wands here. Okay, could be Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, we have the Ace of Cups. So if not Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is somebody that's just willing to accept, accept accountability. We have the Justice card here, and we have the Queen of Swords, okay? Um, I feel like this is somebody that's willing to accept accountability, but they, this person also feels like you're very one-sided. I'm going to just tell you that right now. Whoever I'm talking to, they feel like you're very one-sided because, yes, they might be dealing with karmic or karmics, but they said, so are you. And this is not the first time that I've heard it. It was in the very last reading that I did for the Twin Flames. They said, yes, I'm dealing with karmic or karmics, but so are you. You want me to end this? Okay, go ahead and end that. You get what I'm saying? Now, once again, that part is not going to resonate for everybody. But the two of pentacles in reverse, that's how I'm seeing it right now. And that's what I heard. They said you're very one-sided. You get what I'm saying? And that's no good. I'm telling you that shit right now. You got the two of pentacles in reverse coming from a feminine. That is no good. We got the tower in reverse. Yeah, so it's like somebody here is trying to avoid what you know you got to do. But anytime we see the tower, it doesn't matter. It's going to happen anyway. It's going to happen anyway. And y'all already know how I am. For those of you who are new and don't know how I am, I'm very genuine. I'm very raw. I'm very authentic. I, I will tell y'all what the hell I have gone through and how I know shit up close and personal. And I'm telling you right here, right now. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to be embarrassed because of the simple fact that it's like a... a how else would I know unless I've lived it? Unless I, you know, experience or you get what I'm saying? Like, how else would a person know? They just want to tell you something they have zero idea or clue about? That makes no sense. So I feel like spirit, you know how they say gives the, um, the, the worst of battles to the strongest of soldiers. You get what I'm saying? The most difficult, most strenuous of battles to the strongest of soldiers. Yes. And then you go out there and you are able to assist or help or lead or train other warriors, other soldiers. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm just saying. So, yeah, we got the queen of cups. You got to trust your intuition and go where your ten of cups is. All right, because right now there's distance, there's space between you and this person. And with the chariot, they're coming in. They're coming in to get you. They said you're you're not going to keep blocking me. You're not going to keep denying me. You're not going to keep rejecting me. Um, we're not doing that. You get what I'm saying? We're not. Um, and also, this person feels like you do it because you don't think that they love you. And they said that's not true. <clears throat> a lot of you do it because you feel like this person doesn't come from a loving place. They come from a... Let me lay you down, please. And you like, no. You get what I'm saying? That No. I'm your twin flame. This is what we're supposed to be having. The Ten of Cups. We're not supposed to be just having the Knight of Wands, you know, quick F and put your clothes back on, go about your business. That's, that's not what the twin flame situation is, y'all. I keep saying that. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know who is trying to make it that, but that's not what it is. And the more you try to make it that, that's why the situation is going to, you know, be at a standstill or whatnot. All right. So, obviously, I wouldn't want that for you guys. We wouldn't want the situation to be at a standstill. So, please stop looking at it like it's just a sexual thing for those of you who only look at it like it's a sexual thing. And, you know, if your masculine is looking at it like that, well, you know, unfortunately, my love, I guess we're just going to have to pause on him. You get what I'm saying? Because... I don't want you guys to think that I would ever encourage you to 
entertain a man that only sees you as that when you're so much more. You get what I'm saying? So if they, yeah, they realize this and they realize that, but if they're going to be on that Playboy shit and that's all they're going to be on, well, you get what I'm saying? Treat them like the Playboy they are. Ignore the shit out of them. <coughs> and that's it. Mm -mm. So, hey, yay, yay. Let us go ahead, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, we got girl talk. That's girl talk. Let's pull something from this deck, and then we are going to wrap it up. I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Please feel free to respond. Um, I meant respond. Please feel free to send emails, you guys. Okay, I do respond. Um, what do we have here? Okay, so heart with the key. We already know that. You're the one with the key to this man's heart. You see, we have wedding rings, paradise, okay? We have heartbroken, and we have I like you. So, <clears throat> like I said, for some of you, if you moved on, this is what they feel like. They feel very much so heartbroken, okay? Because they're like, what the hell? Also, for, the, uh, for those of you who, like I said, this is your reading. This person feels like they are heartbroken because they like you. They view you as their happily ever after, where they're going to end up. You know, that's why we have wedding rings here. However, once again, this person is still not in the upright position because they're still in that karmic connection or karmic connections. So once they get out of those, then everything between the two of you will be able to move forward and proceed. You get what I'm saying? So wedding rings, it says union, wedding, marry, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Exactly. The 10 of cups. This is what you're supposed to have with each other. It's not supposed to be a quick F. You get what I'm saying? And if the person is going to keep treating it like a quick F, then it has to go.